Hey, it's Rob, and welcome to Axel's Garage. We're out here with Wanda again. Now, last night, we got Wanda a set of wheels and tires from a friend over at Axel's East. Just trying out different sizes, but you can see, looks real neat, but Wanda's suspension is so thrashed and squatty that it's hitting everywhere. And there's no way that we could drive it like this. It's not just hitting a little bit, it's hitting a lot. So, these are, I don't know what the backspacing is on the wheels, but they're aluminum American racing wheels. The tire size is a 30 by 9.5. So what we had on Cosmo, our other XJ, was a set of 225, 75, 15s, which measure out to about 28 and a half inches by just under nine and a half inches. So we're getting an inch and a half less diameter, which should fit in here and allow us to drive this car with a decent set of tires on it and have it look halfway decent while we get some other work done before we do the suspension and the lift and all that jazz. So I'm gonna buzz these off buzz the other ones on that we actually refinished and made look re real nice they were um they were the originals when we bought Cosmo the other XJ here we go again yeah while we got the wheel off white grease PB plastic I didn't even get them on all the way yet. My wife already said she doesn't like them. They're only one size small, right? They're only one size small. They are temporary. Um, I think the reason why they look so much smaller is because they're tucked in more because of the backspacing in the factory wheel has a lot more backspacing than the um, aftermarket American racing wheel. That's probably it. This is the way Wanda is going to sit for the short term future until we get some suspension work done. And then we got a set of 33. 12.5s that are going on it. Um, we already have those, we already have the rims, they were off all the vehicles that we had around the fleet. But it's getting warm. Spring is here, I'm sweating, and that's it today from Axel's Garage. As always, thanks for watching. <music>